Welcome to a demonstration of some of the functions of the BuildSoft Takeoff 2 or B2.2 application. Uh, we'll start here in a job and you can see we've already created some trades and, and items and taken off some quantities from the plan. Uh, some features on the, on the ribbon here that, that are quite handy. For example, things like uh, if we highlight an item here, I'll highlight this concrete slab item. I can click on the, the fill button at the top here and apply a particular fill color that I want the, the shape to be shaded in with. For example, I'll select this gray and also I can select how transparent I want it to be. For example, if I select 100% transparent, we can see all the way through the shape, but if I come down and make it 20% transparent, you'll see that now if I zoom in over in the plan view, we can see it's shaded in a particular color. We can always highlight that item again and remove the fill if need be, or adjust the color to something else and adjust the transparency where required. Okay, so that, that feature is quite handy as you're moving around and using different colors on the screen. If I look at it in the 3D view, you can see as we highlight different items on the estimate, for example, I'll highlight the external bricks here. You'll see that that area is now highlighted in green, or that shape is highlighted in green. If I was to move on to the internal walls, the internal walls now are highlighted in green in the plan view. Uh, at the bottom now, you can see we have a list of all the shapes that build up the internal walls. For example, here I've highlighted a shape called Office 1, which is now highlighted on the, the plan there. So the Office 1 vertical area of 36 square metres uh, is made up of these three walls here. If I was to move to another shape, Shape 2, Shape 3 at the top, we can start giving them those names as well. For example, Boardroom. So each shape can have an individual name. Uh, you can, over in the factor column here, you can nominate whether it's plasterboard on one side or, or both sides of the wall. So if I highlighted something here like internal wall office, which is this, this wall down here, I could say that you know, it's only plasterboard on one side of the wall, which then updates our quantity accordingly. Uh, we can turn dimensions on at any stage so that gives us you know, all the dimensions for each line we've plotted on the plan. Okay, we can turn dimensions off and turn names on which will give labels to all the shapes that we've plotted on the plan also. Um, we, we've got a selection of reports of trade reports and shape reports. Trade reports will just display the information in our estimate such as descriptions and the quantities all shape reports will actually show what we've plotted in this case on, on the PDF image. Uh, you'll see, see here we've only got one PDF file loaded up at, at this stage, or one image file. You can add another image at any stage by simply clicking the Add a Plan. Uh, you can scroll through and, and pick a number of plans by just holding the control key down and tagging them. Or in this case I'll select a multi-page PDF. And when we do that, will be met with this little options box where we can actually select which pages out of the binder that we want to import. So in this case this PDF file has five pages. I'm selecting that I just want to import these first two pages and click import. And that'll import just those two pages into our plan view. And because we've imported two pages, we now have the option of scaling them both off at the same time. So if we were confident that both plans were say 1 to 100, or in this case 1 to 200 at, at A3 size, we can scale them off both at the same time by simply having both pages ticked, zooming in to where there's a dimension, and doing our scale off. And here I can see there's a dimension of 39 meters and I click OK 
it'll prompt me to ensure that I want to scale off from both pages at the same time. In this case I do, so I'll click OK. And now I can use either Sienna Road page 1 or Sienna Road page 2. Both pages have now actually been scaled off and, and are ready for use. You can zoom in and start taking off quantities from there. Uh, if I highlight, say, ceiling area, I can take off an area on this plan. So I'll quickly just plot around the area of this shape. Back to the original point with a right click. So we've got an area there of 2,185 square meters. If I toggle back to the original plan that I had loaded and back to my 2D view, I can add the area from this shape to the existing item in the estimate. So one item in the estimate can have shapes or quantity results coming from multiple plans in the job. To do that I can hit the select tool on the ribbon, put my cursor over the shape that I want to use, in this case the perimeter of the building, click down, hold my mouse key down and drag it and drop it against this item. So now I have a ceiling area of 4,600 squares made up of, in this case, shape 14 and shape 1. So shape 1 I could rename and call it the auditorium. And shape 14, which come from this plan, I could now call, say, the dwelling. And I can change a factor here of, of 1 to denote that there's a factor of 1 for that shape, which has adjusted our ceiling area as well. Other tools that are quite handy are the ability to export this information straight to a spreadsheet. If I click here on this Excel button, you'll see the software will automatically dump add our descriptions and quantities and units in this case and rates if I'd set them up directly to a spreadsheet. I'll close that file. We can also export back to BuildSoft's global estimating or offsite or estimating system. To do that, we we'll click the export button. We can then browse to a folder, let's say the desktop, and save it as a file. Let's call it sample job. And if I go to my traditional global estimating system, create a job, open the job, click on tools, exchange, import BT2 info. I'll browse to my desktop. I'll select the file, sample job, open, and OK. And you'll see that it's imported that information, such as headings, and items, and quantities, back into the global estimating system. I'll go back to BT2. There also is some tools where we can manage the plans that we're using. And there's also an option for importing BIM files, which I'll discuss in the next tutorial. Thank you.